Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna, the Golden Country, presented by Draco Breach. I'm back in Fetley because of this guy right here. Because, like I said, there was a, um, in the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 main game episode two days ago, there was an update, and it involves a costume for Mithra, because of course it does. Me is Nameless Wanderer. Travel through high and dry, and low and wet, and cold, and also warm places. Life of Traveler is lonely one, so it's much relief when there is chance of talk with other pawn. Is such relief talking to friends? Must reward somehow. Here, take this ox core me found lying in nearby lake. It is just fancy paperweight for non-drivers, so not much use keeping. Happy to give away. Me think it should should be just right for Blade, who really into smashing and brawling. And again, it's Mithra. How friends getting on with Oxcore that may give as gift? Sorry, was not meaning to pry. Is just me have strangest feeling it may may be most ultimate of all item. Make sure friends keep for life. This cross promotion between. Xenoblade 2 and Smash Brothers Ultimate is kind of hilarious, but it is for Mithra. Anybody can equip it, um, and it does the same thing. I'm going to equip it right quick just to show it off, but I am not going to be using costumes um, for this playthrough. Just like in my main game, I did not do, uh, I did not use any costumes. Um, for the for the actual playthrough part, um, that was critical up one. And especially since that one is a tad on the overpowered side, um, anything else of note? Oh yeah, um, <clears throat> I started exploring from here, working my way up here. At this campsite, there was actually somebody to talk to. I talked to them just to add them to my, um, community. Although I guess they're not technically part of my community because reasons. Also in Fetley Village, there is a giant old machine that I probably require a gold... Um, thing, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, really? Hey, hey, you guys, I bet you don't know about formations. Well, no worries, here comes a lecture directly, direct from a pro adventurer. That's yours truly. Basically, adventuring parties have positions for people at the front and people at the back. Those at the front concentrate on attacking and soaking up enemy attacks, and those at the back are there to lend support to those at the front, but don't get targeted by the enemy. Who knows, maybe one day you'll be able to take out enemies unaided, like a pro adventurer like me. Okay then. You're a little full of yourself. <laughs> and you have something new to say. I have not been down there. Look, Dololo have great competence and own stamina, and Dololo, Dolala, hope to become driver and stand at very front to soak up enemy attacks. Meh. But thinking carefully, can Dololo beat enemies just by taking damage? Might need friends to attack enemy and heal Dololo, Dololo, Dololo too. Must find some quick. Okay, how did I not see this over here? The suspense is killing me. Wolf shoes. Hmm. This is becoming a Nature makes a fine ally. I'm wondering how I'm going to get that unique to fight me when the time comes. But anyway... Back to Gormot. Um... I have to... Oh, wait. One of the quests that I have to hand in is up here.
Did I just warp to the wrong spot? I did. Okay, there we go. Because this guy wanted me to make, um... Whatever they're called. And get him some items. Ah, so you found them. One hin bat hinge and, one and a scarlet coil. I knew you'd pull pull through for me. The machine parts you can get in Gormont are a bit different to the ones in Torna, aren't they? Oh yeah. Hold on to that seeker. With your skills, you'll be able to collect lots more parts than I ever would. You might even be able to recover some gold machine parts, too. They'll be more valuable. But to recover those parts, you'll need a more efficient seeker. You'd better get to making one. Oh, thank- oh, th okay, thank you. You brought me some nice parts. And he gets added to community. Yay! How reliable. Oh wow, I actually have several with quests, don't I? You are going to take a while. Um, I think that Nopon and Gormod is also going to take a while. Because I think you... Um... I think that one requires me to beat a bunch of level... Why did I go there? Yeah, you are falling. I feel my power surging. Huh? Oh! Oh, that is such a bad joke. <laughs> oh, wow. That is... Oh, my goodness. That is... <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm laughing way too hard at that. Okay. Nothing else of importance up here, right? Okay, so where is... What's the closest to... This is the closest. Okay. Well, this warp point is, I should say. Although I'm... Question is, because she wants something spicy. Question is, do I have that something spicy? This is becoming addictive. What are you? Oh, you're you. Sometimes the way the camera tries to auto-adjust is kind of interesting. Oh, you're going to be dead before I can... why I didn't try to feed you before, but eh. A spicy... Oh. Wanna eat white hot egg curry or spicy scorpion cookie. Spicy scorpion cookie is a dessert? Well, at least that worked. Phew, man, I thought that was the end for me. Thanks for keeping me alive. You sure got an appetite. I'm not sure where you put all that. <laughs> My stomach's never let me down. Uh, and also, I love spicy stuff so much that I ate that that the more I ate, the more pumped I got for this whole d uh, dr dr drivering deal. Okay. Uh, just hearing you mention it makes my insides royal. Hey, Lita. 
If you think you can laugh it off, you don't know me very well. Can you even imagine what would have happened if these guys weren't here to help? Uh, I'm sorry, Kaida. Um, Lita, I think Kaida is just worried about you. As her driver, you're important to her. Obviously, she wants you to do well and to be well. Kaida, is that true? Let's head for the next big tree. For that net for that big tree. No answer, huh? She's a Sundere. And I probably said that wrong on purpose, but eh. If you uh, if you even think about collapsing again, I'll name this place after you. Lita Oasis. Wait a minute, isn't I think Lita Oasis is a name of <laughs> Don't you think? Awkward. Uh, Jin, do something. I think this is beyond us now. Oh, I see. Then people will remember her failure forever. <laughs> That's your, oh, wow. The legend of the bungling greenhorn driver who brought shame on her blade by collapsing from lack of spicy food. Stop it. Don't say stuff like that. I might die of sheer embarrassment. Okay, wait up, Kaida, I'm coming. Thanks, Mithra, that could have gone a lot worse. Indeed, your less than tactful comment might have saved the day. <laughs> uh, what? What now? Hey! Oh, boy. I see yellow in that cave. I don't know if I... Oh, there's yellow here, too. Aren't we intrepid? Ah, you're nothing. You're just a bunch of skeeters. This is becoming Nature makes a fine which apparently aren't hostile, which is weird. Where are you? Passing right under that giant bug thing. More than likely, it can easily one-shot me. Uh, where are you? Seriously, Lida, where are you? There you are. From this close up, it, uh, from this close up, it looks even more impressive. You bet it's so it's so majestic. It calms me right down, and it reminds me of my father. Is that so? He must be a great man then. <laughs> he's a builder, my dad. Sure, he's a he's a bit grumpy and stubborn, but he's someone you can rely on. Me? I'd like to be like that too. I want to get strong and sturdy and stop disappointing Kaida all the time. Might be Kaede, actually. Ka no, it's Kaida. Ka Kaeda. Eh. We're calling this tr tree the Way Tree. <laughs> That's a nice name. A bit simple, though, no? Wait, my dad's name is Waitson. I, I see what you did there. It's a name that will not only remind you of him, but also of the way you wish to follow. See? Man, I thought this was a wa this. I thought this at the water hole, but Kaida's really good at naming stuff, huh? It's like a superpower. I have to, don't I? Otherwise, casual travelers like you would uh, would never remember what's where. <laughs> that's so nice of you. I'm um, sorry to put you out, everyone, but would you mind if we went a bit further? Like maybe on the top of that big root. It's a little far. Are you sure you're up to it? You really needn't push yourself. Right now, I'm feeling capable, and if I get turned around, I'll just look out for this tree. Well, if it's going to help you grow, I can't I can't say see a reason to say no. <laughs> Sorry and thank you, Kaida. Right then, we're off. Today is the day of following a person who is apparently naming everything. Have I been in that little knoll right there? If I have it, I will go. I 
I think I have though. It's gonna be hard actually to get to um, rank to the um, third tier. Let's see. I should be on the right path. I don't really want to fight you. I might want to move around my... Did you get injured somewhere? I I did it. I I feel like I did it. I finally whooped a monster's butt. Lida, please calm down. You said finally. What exactly have you been doing before? <laughs> oh, she's been skillfully avoiding them. This is her first official victory. Hey, Kaida, do I look buff now or what? <laughs> After beating one monster, just listen to yourself. And even then, it looks like the poor guy might have been might have just tripped and fallen onto your weapon. Oh my goodness, this duo. Yeah, so I'm useless after all, then. Ida, take a look at that. Whoa, is that Lasham Cove? It's a huge natural harbor, as you remember, and yet, looking at it from here, it appears tiny. Don't focus so much on your strength, but just look at how far you, uh, we've come. I'm proud of you for that. Kaida, you're so nice. What's that face you're pulling? Seriously? Seriously, all this noise about a simple e exploration mission. Everybody starts somewhere. Thinking back to when we met, uh, when we met isn't this success enough? I believe Lyda may, ha may yet to grow into a fine driver indeed. It's not every day that Jin offers praise like that, is it? That pretty much settles it. She'll do great things one day. I wonder if that means we're going to meet up with Lyta again. Well, she's part of the community now? I don't know. Everyone, thank you for your for all your assistance. After we've gone around Gourmet, I think we'll find some other place to explore. Then we might meet again somewhere, mightn't we? Very good. On that day, it might be you helping us out. Oh, don't make fun of me. I don't think he is. Anyway, I'm looking forward to that day. We'll be cheering you on, you two. Thank you. Wait, really? Huh. That's... Neat. Actually. I didn't think that they would both count. Mission accomplished, then. And I can make a new talisman with, um... Haze. And... Okay. Wow, you're getting better... ish. <laughs> uh... 
Oh, wow, that's actually... That's of officially what you have, okay? Um, yeah. Because you need a buff. Oh, I have not been in here. Glad I came here. Really glad I came here. Ah, uh, cobalt chips. Okay. These kind of aren't good. I don't... Hmm. I know I just used the turquoise chip, but I think I'm going to prefer that. I want high crit rate on those two. I'd like high block rate on these two. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, what did I get? I think I'm fine for now. Too bad there's not an easy way back up. Yeah, not right now, buddy. Oh. I kind of forgot about the, um... The graves uh, showing up for the unique monsters. All right, remind me why we're here again. We're handing in some quests. Yes, it's all here. Plenty enough apple lamps and al alloy sheeting. Now, Dundan, apply uh, apply self to making of silver cylinder. Will not will not be moment. It's all finished. Dundan, in fact, rather skilled at handiwork, so not tough job. Now is big moment of truth. Time to take special Dun Dundan style silver, silver cylinder for dip. Friends, watch and learn. Spectacular treasure is waiting for discovery. Here, Dundan, go. Why did I know? Meh, meh, meh. Should be spectacular treasure, all right, but Dundan found and followed by big bad monster on way back. Sorry, friends. Could dispose of Tacitus uh, Urchin for Dundan? It may it, it may be no other way to open treasure otherwise. Thank you, thank you, in advance. Oh, um. Well, you're not a, like super high level. Hmm. Wait. Um. At long last, Dundon finally get pause on Gravitonic Clutch. Now to take to take to partner and finish off project. If get hold of certain thing in great number, Dundon can say goodbye to life's uh, slaving under cloud sea. Dundon return to Torna now. Greatest of thanks to friends. Uh. Dundan, leave collectibles here as reward, like promised. Hope will come in handy. Why, thanks. That's Adam's voice saying thanks, isn't it? Accomplished. 
Okay, that's for him. Ah, are you still trying to scrounge up the machine parts? I think I've mentioned before, but there are silver and gold parts lying around. Don't forget, you'll need a special secret device if you want to find gold parts. I believe that naming something is one's way of, uh, one's way of giving meaning to it. I only wish I could name the rush of incredible feelings that have been welling up within me. Not to mention naming all these places and happenings that we come across in our, on our adventures. So that each and every one will stand as a reminder of the time I've spent with Lyta. When I first met Kaida, I kind of thought it would be a real life changer for me. But nope, everything's st st still same old, same old. I'm still the same old hopeless crybaby who can't cope under pressure. Who can't cope up with Hope under pressure, at least. But you can't just wait. Uh, can't just wish for something to get better, can you? You have to make it happen yourself. That kind of really hit home for me. Okay. What else? Right. Talk to you. Oh, this is wonderful. It looks perfect. Let me have a wee taste. What's this? A mouth-watering medley of meat and fish stewed in a slightly sweet sauce? This is some top-notch cooking. But I can tell you right now that this is not Chilsanian cuisine. And I'll tell you uh, for what I'll tell you for why. It's just too delicious. My mother's home cooked recipes never tasted as good as this. The smell of the fish was completely overpowering, and the meat was tough as old boots. This sounds like we want Mithra to cook. That's the kind of poor quality you can expect from our Danian cooking. If only there were someone who could recreate the authentic local flavor. I doubt anyone but a true Ardenian can really prepare something that appeals to our particular tastes. Now, what I wouldn't give for some real Chilsanian kasha. It's called Deluxe. That's even better. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I love that it's called Deluxe. Um, nothing there. I can't make it yet. Time to get cooking. Kinda excited. Oh boy. Hmm. Maybe I missed a step. It tastes better than it looks. Probably. I'm a little <laughs> nervous to tell you the truth. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Let's see. What a... Allow me to demonstrate my skill. It's called Deluxe. I am not getting over that anytime soon. Right. Where shall we head to next? Oh. I actually kind of forgot that Jin might gain that, didn't I? Half the battle is living to fight another day. That belongs in the Oh wow. Oh boy. Do I have... Okay, that's me category. Okay, I can... okay, so I can. Um... Good for the body. Good for the... That should... Good. Master. May as well do that right quick. Ah. Ah. Wait, did that not... That was the meat category, wasn't it? In the kitchen or not, I'm your man. 
It didn't look like his, um... Oh. Hello? Meh 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 meh. So, so hurty. Dundon was careless. Should not have gone walkies with weapons stored away in luggage. Very bad idea. Dundon, forget that if weapon not always handy, reaction to sudden danger become very difficult. Friends should be careful too. Never know when where enemies might lurk. Thanks to terrible mistake, Dundan failed to meet a uh, partner again. This is very, very depressing. So could you so could you do it? Did you cook some Ardanian food? This is this looks so good it could satisfy any appetite. This food <laughs> Well, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting, as they say, so excuse me while I tuck in. Huh? Uh, rubbish. This taste... The spices are completely overpowering, so I can't tell what I'm eating. The lentils have been bo boiled dry and crunchy. Completely disgusting and, inedib and inedible. The quintessential Ardanian cooking, you might say. Well, I say disgusting, but there's a certain charm to it that you can't capture anywhere else. Yeah, in my hometown, there wasn't anyone who could do Ardanian cooking as bad as this except my mother. Hey, why is that young lady, lady looking at me with daggers? Anyway, you have all been so kind to me. When you're in more Ardanian, you're welcome to visit my house anytime. I'll treat you to some proper authentic Ardanian food. Ha ha ha. Oh... Is that nine? Well done, us. Um. Okay, I need seven more for upgrade. Okay. Mission accomplished. Then. And another turquoise chip, because of course. Thanks for bringing me that rubbish food before. Hey, I really mean it. Thanks to you, I managed to cure my homesickness and cheer up. Now my maintenance work is going great. Oh yeah, talking of curing things, how are you managing to heal up during fights? You've got to pay special attention that you don't lose one of your team during a battle, and it's much better if you keep an eye on those team members who are taking the most damage from enemies. If they go down, you might suddenly find that your party suddenly falls to pieces. You know, I gave some Ardanian food to a workmate. He was, uh, he was fine one moment, then on the floor of the next. He has some trouble fill, uh, filling our work quota for that day, I can tell you. Ha ha ha. Oh, boy. Anyway. Anyway. Um, that is some... Quite a few quests... Um, taken care of. Uh, this is going to be... Difficult. Um, I might actually take on... Over-affectionate... Yeah, what's his name? See if I can knock that out between episodes. But anyway, for the time being, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.